Welcome to Before the Council. This is a program about the items that are before the City Council. Um, it started a long, long time ago when I first worked for a company named Continental Cablevision. And uh, Brockton Community Access now has the program. We've been lucky enough to have City Council President Dennis Aneri. Welcome, Thank Dennis. Thank you. Welcome. Happy New Year. Dennis nice has helped you. me during two of your terms being the Council President. Yes. To to work on this show and Councilor Sullivan as well. Right, exactly. And yes. we hope that the tradition will continue with the soon to be elected, S newly uh, city, count, city minted council, council president, city councilor yes, Moses yes, Rodriguez. Right. He, he will be he will be taking over the gavel on uh, January the 14th. So he will uh, begin his task as being the next council president for the year 2019. So I hope that he does. I, I think he I think he will. And uh, you know why wouldn't he? To be truthful with you, but. He's Everybody used to has, TV. He does a TV it, show now. I met him doing TV. That's how I met Moses when I was hired here back in 94. Right. He was doing a show at that point in time called Arco Iris. Yeah, it's, oh, it, that's right, he's too. still doing the show. He's producing it. He has Joe Miranda, and he has a crew, and they've been doing that show all along to educate people about the Cape Verde culture, the right. country, um, do the show, you know, learn about the food. We work with them on the Cape Verdean Festival, it's, mm -hmm. and we have a second show, Sailor Ernestina, Ernestina, which Manny Andrade hosts. We have all sorts of shows. Right. And right. Moses is used to being on TV, so I hope he will continue I think to do that with, um, you I know, talk about will. city issues. Because Moses has always taught me that people trust and believe and learn from people that they're familiar with. Right. Right, right. And he's been one of those faces and one of those voices. Well, and you know, I think what's what's nice about it is the fact that you've um, you uh, how how can I uh, phrase it? I mean, you, you've put in place as a council president a, a minority person, to be truthful with you. Mm -hmm. And and as I said, um, and I supported uh, I supported Moses uh, naturally, and uh, I said I think it's something that that's going to be good, you know, for the city because I, I I see and you see and everyone else sees that you know the direction the city is going is is more of an urban type of city and it, and it's got a mix mixed breed of um population and, and you know it's 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 the newest different. wave of immigrants that's right okay the newest Dennis, wave yeah. you've been here all all your right. life right and, exactly and there were Italians there were Irish there, there was, was Jewish there was African Lithuanian, American Lithuanian Lebanese Lebanese yep. you name it right. well the newer and they're not so new now right 1977 right. the Cape Verdean Association right. was established that's right that's a long time 1977 is two years more than my 40th class reunion that's right. coming up right okay Manny Andrade back in the day and, um, and, and Moises uh, you know he's been here for 40 some odd years I think it's 42 43 yeah. years he's been in this city so right. So he's somewhat a Brocktonian to a point. Yeah, to a what, point he is. You but never know what you define as a Brocktonian. Some people, it's right. like lifelong resident. And then even I think about it. Right. Okay, I was born at Goddard Hospital. Yep. I was in Stoughton. Yeah, yeah. Right around the corner from where I live. Sure. Okay. Right. But my parents moved to Bridge. They lived in Bridgewater when I was born. Yeah. So and I was only there like a year and a half. And then I was in college for two years. So what's lifelong? Yeah, what is okay. lifelong? Yeah. Um, but I chose to come back. When I graduated college, spring break senior year, I came home looking for a job, got the cable job. And, I and volunteered he, on the St. Patrick's Day Mass that Paul O'Connor in oh, Ireland yeah. zoned it. Paul O'Connor, This yeah. little Jewish kid yeah. did the St. Patrick's Day Mass, convinced him, hey, yeah. hire me. Yeah. And they did. Yeah. Woody Gulak yeah. hired me. Wow. At the time, and it's you know, and I you stayed in Brockton, then I went to Holbrook, Sharon came, Foxborough, and then I came, came back, back in '94 when the company, the company that I used to work for, which was the ninth largest cable company in America, and here, they and, dissolved and Time Warner bought them. I came back here when they opened, and, and here you are, it, and and you've been involved, Dennis. You school committee twenty years, right? Right, twenty years school committee. This is going on the sixteenth year of city council, but as I say, I am the oldest person. Well, the dean to the political process because I first ran for public office in 1977. And as I was telling some counselors just the other day, my name has been on a ballot since 1977. I first lost the first race for school committee in Ward 5. Yeah. Ran again in 1979 and won. And I stayed there for, for uh, 10 years and then took a little hiatus. But by doing that, I, was, I had ran for city council in Ward 5. Right. Was unsuccessful. Following I read for city council, at, uh, you know, at large and, and unsuccessful, but went back to school committee. Right. And then from school committee, I never lost the school committee seat either. Right. Neither time I left that seat. Um, and then when I decided to move, it was time to 
pick up and go across town, and I ended up in Ward 3, and have been the city council since then. But I've always been on a ballot. I've, I've never been an election process where my name has not been on a ballot. You know and what's funny? Me too. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, I ran, I was the student rep to the school committee. That's right. That's when I That's right. first met you. Yes. Okay, and we had to get elected. And yeah. we had to be on a ballot. And at Brockton High, because there were 6,200 right. kids when I went there, yeah. I represented the Azure House. We were on a ballot, the old green yes, barcode they, they, charts. They, they ran they, punch cards. That's right. And I don't know what year that was, but I served for three, and then I ran for student senate. I ran for class treasurer. But the class treasurer race, yeah. uh, I ran against the absolute most pretty girl in the class. Oh. I lost to her once. My best friend ran and lost to her twice. I learned oh. my lesson. Yeah. I switched yeah, yeah, yeah. over to the Senate because the Senate could... Talk yeah, about yeah, legislation, yeah. meet with the principals, <clears throat> had a few extra privileges yeah, because the, the, you were in the, the Senate. Other, yeah. But what I really learned was the school committee going there, and we had a voice. We didn't have a vote, yeah. but we, we had, had a, voice, a voice, and we got listened to. There were four reps from the houses, and there was one from the Ithaca Alternative School. You're right, okay. Ithaca, okay, yes. and yeah. uh, if you go in the yearbook, uh, which is closed <laughs> on 40 years now, yeah. you're going to see pictures of me in the 79, the 78, the 77. I don't know the 76, so I think we might have been on the ballot in different places, in different at, places the at the same time. It's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, it, it, it is. It really is. I mean, time goes by, too. Yep. I mean, it, it keeps going. Well, and wisdom. Not. Wisdom comes with that, Dennis. And I guess the I, you got some talking points, but I want to ask yeah, you that's my fine. first question. Yes. Is what advice do you have for your successor? Your, 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 your council president, because you've served in that role how many times? Three times. Three times. Yep. So you have... Experience yep. under your belt. 2007, 2015, and, and 2018, just mm -hmm. recent. And uh, I would um, say to him, uh, as I've already started to say, um, it's a little bit different than you sitting there as a member, even though he's made the comment that he looks at it as just being one of the counselors. You, you are one of the counselors to a point, to a point to the fact that you are running the meetings. The gavel is yours, you know what I mean? And, and you've got to know how to handle the gavel in, in the interim of all discussions, you know what I mean? Keeping peace within the council in itself. Um, you, you also have only one committee you chair, and that's the finance committee. That's why it's known as the city council finance committee because it's shared only by the president. All other committees you're off of. So it's not like I now will go on to back on to other committees, probably replace him in some committees that he sure. was, you know what I mean? So when I say that, that finance agenda is, is yours. You have, you have to put that together. There's a little bit of time consumption because whatever gets read at the city council meeting, the next morning, the clerk's personnel goes through what has to be done, people go through what has to be done to send up to the auditor's office because the auditor becomes the clerk, the clerk. of finance. Right. And at that point, you have to put that agenda together with the person that's working on that, who the invitees are, who, do you, who else do you think should be invited? Is this, um, you know, who we want here? And, and now you're here maybe, well, don't put it on this finance meeting, put it for the next finance meeting, which you have the right to do. Right. There's some time invited consumption to there. appear, the, the, the paperwork right. comes out if you're a department head or you're someone exactly. that goes before the council. And Ex exactly. the council meetings are all set by statute. Set, the uh, FinCom is set by the president. But it's FinCom is set by the president, and you're right. The, the rest is set by statute of the clerk's office. That's right. the city clerk's job. Right. The only thing that I did, and, uh, and, he, and he will have to do the same, and other presidents as well, is that if somebody did sponsor something coming from a department, fire, police, um, wherever, the mayor or something, late file, and it's going to go on the agenda, you know, and you've said you're going to sponsor it, then you've got to make sure that that person has signed that sponsorship to get it on the agenda. If right. not, what I did as council president, if, if they couldn't capture that counselor in time to put the next agenda together, council agenda together, then put my name on it. I took, I took ownership, not ownership of it, but right. it has to be signed by somebody and it moves forward. I just did one just a half hour ago before yeah. coming up here, you know, with you with something. So, I mean, those are the things that, that he's going to have to, to learn to do. And, um, and, and yeah, you are still one of the counselors, but when you're there, you're, you're running that meeting and you've got to have, you've got to have the left and right look because, especially in finance, who wants to talk? Right. 
you've got to mark down. You know what I mean? You've got to keep your own list. You can't just think in your head, okay, well, he wants and then, and then she wants and then she does and then, yeah, no. You've got to keep, the wheel has to turn. Yeah, I ch I ch I've chaired my school committee and the I've chaired the library board and you really got to, you know, kind of put yourself aside. You and, have to. And, 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 and Moses is a vocal counselor. So, right. you know, it, it, that, that'll, that'll be interesting. I know he has, is, right. is, is more than capable of doing that. He is very I, capable. And, and, yeah. and I kind of think he was waiting his turn, right. so to speak, to, to, to right. be it. Um, I know there was a contest for there, the first time there ever. Was, there, was the, there was a contest, I think, for the first time ever that I know of, and even going back some time, uh, per se, that I know. Um, Any time that anybody wanted to be, Council President, you always, you always worked on your votes right away. In other words, yep. somebody goes in January 14th, there could be two months from now, somebody saying, I want to be the next Council President. Because it's you, only it, for one year. Right, exactly. And you want to get your votes. And, and getting your votes means six votes. You know, when I right. first ran and I, and, I, and I had six, seven votes, I think it was, I said to Mayor Harrington, and he was a Councilor at Lodge, as you know, and he was a President a couple of times too. Right. And, he, and he said, I hear you, you're going to be the Council President. Next time, I says, well, I've got seven votes. He says, so you're the council president. I says, well, I got, he says, you got seven votes. Even if you lose one, you still got six because you're one of the votes. Right, it's like the, it's like the <laughs> council at large race. What right. do you call the four councilors yeah. that get elected? Right. Councilor. Councilor, exactly. The fifth one is yeah. next time, maybe. Def exactly, so. exactly. So that's how that, you know, that's how that process, you know, that, that you know, works. But um, it's, it, I, I think, I think Councilor Rodriguez would do fine as, as Council President. Um, it's just going to be a little bit of an eye awakening to him to some of the other responsibilities. And as you know, this was a different year. Mm -hmm. 2018 was different. And I say different for the fact that we were not in City Hall because of the elevator situation. Right. And we left there, believe it or not, last November. I, um, thank God, amen, with my hip surgery and everything. And I'm in pretty decent, better shape than I was, you know, mm -hmm. four months ago. I did uh, make my way up to the second floor because I have to climb stairs, so right. I, I did. And uh, I looked at the calendar that was in front of my desk there. My name's still there where it was when I left in November, and the calendar said November. So that's right. the last time we were there. Right. And as you know, during the course of the year, we all worked together, you, your staff. Um, I had to work with the, with the uh, deputy superintendent of schools as well um, for location we'll sometimes. Really helped us out. Yeah, really helped I mean, us out. We want to it was them. it was a lot of um, um, it, it really was a a lot of work that went involved. And when we did say that we were going to go to the Wall Memorial Building, which we did do for some time, you know, I had to get you involved, your people. Yeah, audio was a big issue. Can we? Can't we? We don't know. And then then unfortunately, uh, I heard more complaints about being over the Wall Memorial Building because. It was too warm. It was this. It was that. It was acoustics are tough over acoustics there. Acoustics was Lighting, tough. Yeah, um, you know other other things. So we went back to the uh, little theater. Do we theater. have a prognosis for um, elevator being back in the council chambers? Um, I, I think and and hope, but I wouldn't. You know, I I don't think an actual okay. date, but I I think you will find. It should have been within this month. Uh, I think you will find it will be in, in February at some point. And the reason being is so people know, and a lot of people don't know. We've had people say it's too bad that people can't go to council meetings anymore. Well, that's not true. Right. All meetings are open to the public. Right. We're at the Unknown School. It's right. on. It's, it's on, a nice little theater. It's. It's right on the. It's right on. You know the. the uh, yeah. um, it says it right on on the computer there. You know what I mean? It's right there and. Uh, Exactly. You know what I mean. Same when we were at the little theater, there right. was ample, uh, you right. know, ample of, uh, of flexibility for people to get in and get out. But I would, um, I would say that you know February looks like it could be, it could be the time. So hopefully it will be. But we are booked to stay at the unknown, and I took care of that. Believe it or not, I took care of a few things while I was home, sitting in the in the chair because I had to. With, and as you know, as you know, when I did go in, I somebody made comment of how come. Council Sullivan took your spot because he was the immediate past president, yeah, and that's, that's how he did. That's a good way to. That's and I selected a, it that well, way. There is no. It was my selection. There is no vice chair or vice president. No. So you can't do that. And like my school committee, you no. a vice chair. Right. City same uh, as Brockton same, School yeah. Committee. The mayor's chair. the chair. I was you vice, vice chair there three times when I was on the school committee. Yeah. Life sentence, Dennis. Um, all this, all this public I'm service you, time. I'm and, telling you. And you're still yeah. invested. You're still involved. I am. You, 
you you, but, you couldn't be a glutton for you know, punishment, I guess, there, right? There's one thing I just want to point out because it's amazing. Some people, and as you know, there was an article in the newspaper just a short time ago because the, the rumor was circulating that, you know, the mayor was going to take a state job, you know what I mean? So people begin to think that, you know, and I had people say to me, Jay, you know, now if it was to take a state job in January, well, you, you, you know, you would, you, you couldn't be mayor. The next person said, well, you only become acting mayor for signatory purposes. There right. is nothing in the ordinance that says you, the council president, is the actual acting mayor. And that my salary went from, you know, 15000 to 152000 Wouldn't that be nice? It would be nice, but people don't understand that um, because now that's all you're doing is just overseeing. You're, you're the next of if there's an issue. And even right. when he was away and he did travel to, to, Cape, to Cape Verde. So you um, get the credit, but not the blame. You, you, I mean, you get the blame, but not the credit. There you that's, go. That's, I mean, when he was right. away at Cape Verde, there were, knock on wood, we didn't have anything. A couple, couple just small situations. But his chief of staff was always instructed, Nick was always instructed to make sure that the council president knew what was going on and you'd have to make a decision to mm -hmm. that. And, um, but I, I wasn't in City Hall. I knew, what, I knew day to day what was happening. It would be the same way with Council Rodriguez, same way with Council Sullivan. When I was out, the mayor was out of, out of town for a, a weekend event that he went to, and he made sure that Council Sullivan knew that I'm out of town. That's how, how it acts. How important is that communication between the council president and the mayor? I know you met weekly or biweekly or, you know, we, very we, often. Yeah, we, we were weekly, pretty much weekly, biweekly. When it, when it come, becomes summertime, it changes a little bit after we get through the budget and everything. And then, then when I was, you know, out, I was out for about the four and a half, five weeks in October into November. Um, you know, I, I, but I still had some contacts. You know what I mean? I was, I was making contacts. Um, I, I think it's, Im I think it's important. That's the way I've looked at it, for communication purposes. Um, some do, some do not. You know what I mean? It also depends the relationship you may have with the mayor. And 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 let's face it, you know the. The mayor and I, um, we were at a little bit of ends the last time, a little bit with, with how the whole other election process went, you know what I mean? But that was something that he and I squared away as two human beings, you know what I'm saying? Because Both working for the good of the city. Exactly. And, and he might have a different he, opinion he or a different He made the Olive Branch, on Inauguration Day you were there, and yeah. his Olive Branch was that I've already invited the new council president to come in and meet, and, and he's already accepted. I've talked to him on the phone. He, he made the first phone call. Um, and I waited for the first phone call, and he was the first phone call, and and we went from that point. You know, it's certainly still, better than what we're watching on TV nationally. Please, okay. Don't, I mean, it, 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 it really rocky at the beginning of the yeah. first administration, yep. and things, you know. But you know what happens there, Mark, and and you, and you know everything that, and I always say it for the many years I've been following politics. Whatever happens in Washington. It comes all the way back down to cities and towns, mm -hmm. because what was the saying? Uh, Paul Stadinsky Sr. used to say it. Even even Paul Stadinsky, Council Stadinsky used to say, it. all government starts at the local level. And and Tip O'Neill. All, Tip politics is local. all politics is local. And that's where, it, and it comes back down to us. It really, really does. I mean, everything that's going on right now, people that aren't being paid or so whatever. There's probably some people in the city we don't know that, 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 that are working in some of those positions that don't have a paycheck this week or next week. But yet, he can, he can say... Well, I was wondering, was Council Barnes, who's Steve Lynch's legislative exactly. aide, does she get paid? I know, okay. exactly you right. Look at your air traffic controllers, which will affect yep. all of us, your, yep. your, your, your TSA agents, exactly. we're talking about all of that stuff. But the local, I don't get, right. honestly, Dennis, why people think the presidency is the most important thing to vote for and why it's the higher voting yeah, turnout. I, I, I don't understand why people don't think the city council, the school committee member, the mayor right. their, is not more important right. because you can actually talk to them. You exactly. can interact with them at the local level. You, you can, can give people your feedback. Yeah. You can go to a public hearing and attend the public hearing, right. which most people don't do unless it immediately exactly. affects them. Exactly. Okay? Exactly. So, I, I see, I think one thing I know about Councilor Rodriguez, uh, Moses, is he served in a mayoral administration. Exactly now, right. I personally think that's going to be very helpful mm -hmm. for him and the council because it was a different mayor. It was James Harrington. Right. Right. Okay. He, he, but he had a lot of interaction with councilors. Right. And in his role with the Cape Verdean Association, same thing. He's been executive director. He's been president of that. I think he's right. going to hit the ground running. I think, I, okay. I, I, I agree. And, I totally agree. And with I you. think that role gives him 
he, more he, knowledge. He, he, and that's when I got even more so friendly with him. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Is, is once he became the part of the you know, Harrington administration. I mean, I, I originally first met him when I ran for Council of Ward 3 the first first time, which was in 2003, 2004, he ran for council at large. Right. You know, and he was standing at the Kennedy School, and, and we knew one another, but never had a chance to converse, you know what right. I mean? And that's how I got to know him, and then when he did take a position with, you know, um, Mayor Harrington, uh, that's when I went to him on a couple of different issues. We worked together on a few things, and uh, he was always there for you or always to help lead you in, a, in, in the right direction as well. And I think that's what's most important. Here is just a, a little different take of a role, but I, I, think, he'll, I think he'll do fine. Um, what you do know, you I want think, to cover? Well, I'm I just want to ask a bunch of mention, questions and, yeah, and update us before I you... I just want to mention a couple of things. I think it's, an, it's important um, as we go into 2019, and believe it or not, we're, you know, now once we go 2019, you know, we're going to become the show called 2020. Yeah, uh, so, election year. You know, I mean, I think we're going to get Barbara Walters here to announce that one. You know what I mean? Welcome okay. to 2020. But yeah. in any case, um, just to bring a couple things up to up to speed, I think it's important because people often say, well, what's going on in the city? What's different? What's what's new? Well, there's going to be a few new things you're going to see soon. You, you take the uh, Cumberland Farms up in Belmont Street and Pearl Street, mm -hmm. and you take that there's going to be another new Cumberland Farms, which is going to be in Oak Street, which yep. leads you into the entrance of where Walmart is. You know what I'm saying? Keep in mind, Walmart was built so further back some years ago right, under right. the Fowler administration because they wanted a strip mall right. on that side. That's the piece of land that that's going on, and I think that's important. And what was the new news we heard just in the last 24, 48 hours? Toys R Us. Toys R Us, yeah. Toys R Us is, is uh, you know, uh, been been bought by Job Lot, which is nice. That's on Campanelli Drive. So they're going to move, yeah, correct? Yeah, I, I, would, I would believe so. I, I think that's how. I haven't got the whole, whole and, lowdown and on our, that. You know, George's Cafe. And unfortunately, yeah, George's Cafe, you know, uh, that's a landmark to, to the city. You know, the Tataglers have run that for a long, long time, back to the 20s and 30s. And, yeah, that's going to be a change. It's going to be something different, you know, I'm sure, at some point. You know what I mean? But then again, then again, you know. We're still getting the Denny's where the producer's dairy was. As far as I was. know, you know, I've got to follow up on that because I, I, I know it was approved. And it yeah. was approved through zoning, but they were waiting for that stretch of Belmont Street to be completed. Which, which it is. Right, yeah, which and, it is. And, and I, I'm still, I still lament yeah. friendlies being gone. Because how many did we have of them? Five or six of them. Yeah, well. And, and they're, they're closing other ones. We, we but the nearest one to here is Middleborough yeah. or Weymouth. We've got okay. to do something even with that building that's there. Something's got to be. Um, yeah, uh, there's, gonna... there's there's a, there's a lot there's a lot of work. It, yeah. it looks hopeful. The it, the street gotta, is all redone. And we, but Belmont I'm saying Green. that all the friendlies, we got to yeah. do something. We got to come up with something there. Um, and and I and also as you know, just in recent, um, uh, unfortunately, but we knew it would happen. I always said it would happen. Uh, when, even when I was on school committee to council, that at some point. You know, Campanelli Stadium and 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 the um, Shaw Center would become our situation. I saw the picture of you there yep. at the meeting. Yes. Um, I hope people will give it a chance, and it'll because we are in desperate need. Absolutely. Of uh, you know, a facility, Massasoit Community Conf Conference Center closed. Shaw's has been closed. Right. There's Santana there, but we've been going outside of the city. We've been going yeah, we to Barrett's. We've been going to the canoe club, right? And that's not acceptable that's for a city. Now we get five minutes. I want to make sure we cover what you do. Yeah, so I'm, I don't I'm, wanna... I'm pretty, I'm pretty well okay. almost there. But but that, uh, but let me just say that too. Our walkthrough was primarily so that we could get the building secure. Right. And we did receive a list from uh, Building uh, Superintendent James Casseri in regards to things that need to be done now that are going to be done because there's there's issues there. So at least the building is secure, and the building's pretty much been turned over. To his department to make building sure these department. things, yeah. the building department. Yeah. At that point, then we've got to sit down and really see some numbers. Probably within the next three to four weeks, the mayor said, hopefully we'll see some numbers because we have some issues there. Roof leaks, HVACs, and we got raccoons be living in there. With pipes in the winter and all that That's stuff. That's why we brought like, them like in. The chamber in March right. has no place to They're going to Southeastern, they're going to our school. Yeah. Actually, and it's too, and it's, uh, when, you know, off hours, they've gone to Teen Challenge, yep. um, which is a nice catering facility, but if you need to have I alcohol, know. you can't go you there. You can't go there. Which yeah. is fine because it's a substance abuse place, but, but we've run out of places to go. And I, and the Shaw Center, I've always thought, right. was a, a, a great community venue, and it can be again. Yeah. And thank God, 
They did, the, you know, B-21 did some work in the Shaw Center anyways this past year or two. They had to because of, of, of the fact that it just needed a good cleanup. I mean, sure, uh, sure. If, if you go in and never see the floor, I mean, I, I never realized the floor ever shined the way that it did, but, but that's because nobody ever took care of it. Right. You know, but I mean, those are things, but, but there are other things that need to be done. Then we'll get into the discussion of what we believe or what the mayor think should be going in there because it comes down to the contracts between you know the city and 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 you know him to be truthful with you because right. that's how it was it was set up but we'll right. get there and then Council the uh, president sits on b21 right I, exactly exactly b21 is not in that picture anymore right right and i think you will probably find as time goes on you know is there going to be a is there still a strong need for b21 it was up at the budget discussions last year, and you guys gave another shot at it. I and mean, I, I, I could come out of the box. I, I, I'm a counselor, and I can say my own opinion. I, I would prefer, with all the other economic development things we got going on, that I think it's time we eliminate B21. It was created back in 1993, 94, just about at the end of the Fowl administration. Right. It's outdone its deed. Thank you very much and everything. And then take the money and put the money back into the Shaw Center. Well, the hotel motel tax exactly. has gone there for a while, right. and there are other areas like right. you're talking about that so it might those need are the to things be focused that... on. So, so election year is coming up. It, it the last election's over. Right. The next one starts the next day, as you know. Yep. There are a few like early people and not announcing formally, but testing the waters and stuff right. like that. Do you see a, 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 a big race this year? Do, uh, uh, mayor's uh, office, councils at large. I, you, know, you know, Mark, I, I, I see that I think this year you may find a little bit difference of what the other year was. And I mean that by some of those people that, that ran, a, you know, two years ago, where are they? Where, mm -hmm. have they? where do they go? Right. You know what I mean? So now if you're going to come back out and make a challenge, then what's your challenge going to, you know what I'm saying? And right. you're going to be faced with, with some hard issues. Contracts are up. We still need funding for schools. We're going to enter into a law suit at some point, or, or is the governor really listening and going to help the urban cities and towns? I don't know that, but those are the things you're, you're going to be dealing with. Um, I could still be possibly dealing with, you know, a, the project up on West Chestnut Street has never gone away. Yeah, I was going to it's ask just, you, It's yeah. just held up in, in court, and I think there could be a court date coming in February, March, because there's easement issues, which... As Mr. Albany says, you people don't know what you're talking about. Did they give about, you the sign? But on paper. On it? Did they give you the sign no, with your name I, on it? No, I didn't, I didn't. I never no. saw anything so bad yeah, in my yeah. life. I And, yeah. and I never bad, comment on bad Facebook. Ti bad timing on, on them to put the, the sign up. But in any case, I mean, I think 2019 is going to be filled with a lot of things, to be truthful with it. And, and revenue still is an issue. So, I mean, yeah, you're going to see some, some races, but... How hard, I, I, I don't know, and uh, well, I'll be there. We'll bring you back anytime you want. You can be either a guest host. You can always do your own show, too. That's right. But we're going we're gonna to talk to Council Rodriguez, Council President Rodriguez, yep. as of the 14th, see if we can get him back on, because I think it's important to educate people. Right. You gave me a little education today about some of the roles. I knew some of it, but not all right. of it. Yeah, and good. I think it's important for the public to know what's going on I, I, versus what they might read or not read before we just conclude i i, I will i will um, mention to you because he has already mentioned to me the fact that he and, and the mayor already had conversation in regards to meetings and he and he's already said you know to the mayor i'm i'm, I'm in yeah we want to we want to continue that process which i think is is important doesn't mean we all disagree you know agree and disagree what but whatever but i think it's still it's a communication piece that that's that's needed so well. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you. you for your service. Appreciate it. And we'll, yeah. we'll talk to yeah. you some more. All right. Thank you. You're watching Great to Before be here. the Council. Uh, Mark Lindy, your host. Uh, back in 2019, hope to continue this with a new host and bring all the councilors on to talk about their views. Some of them do TV, and we'll, we want them on TV. Thanks for watching.